My name is Una Tim Sobi. I'm 36 years of age. Uh, we are here at my house in Kaimandi. It's quite a challenging role to be a father because I have to wake up early in the morning and prepare my son to go to crash and I need to protect him and look after him. I'm writing the story of my life here. I believe that I'm inspiring my kids and also the other kids around me. I studied at Sustainability Institute. At their storeroom, they had about 12 mountain biking, I remember. I asked if, if I can use one of the mountain biking because I used to commute to the train. And then there was this evening, whilst I was coming from work, I had a puncture. I had to push my bicycle to the bike shop. That's when I met Tando and Mungani and Chris Notin. Mungani said to me, don't you want to ride with us in the evening, maybe tomorrow? I said, but you look at my bike. I said, no, this bike is perfect. Hey, Nat. Hey, that friendship between me and Unat, he came to our shop to buy some, some tube, then we went up to Younger Sook. Yeah. That's where he also got passionate about it. Then we practiced all together from then until now. I met Tano and Unati through the bike shop, and so we formed the racing team together. So this team is predominantly from people from Kaimandi. It's a racing team that looks after previously disadvantaged people who haven't had the opportunities to race. I think it's been a, a big game changer. This will give people incredible opportunities to drag themselves out of poverty. So when they came out, I had my techies with the flat pedals. They had all the apparel actually cleats and everything. And it was like, Asia, now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something very exciting in my life. As we were writing all this trails network here in Stellenbosch, I asked them who's building the trails here because these are quite nice trails. And then that change actually helped me to, to, to become a trail builder. We have mountain bike trails and walking trails, over 50 kilometers of them. And what is unique is that you had these private experts building trails not on their own land, but on municipal land. That means all the trails are free and open to the public and it belongs to the public. Somebody, however, needs to maintain them. And that is where Stellenbosch Trail Fund comes in. It's a relatively small team. We rely 100% on donations from the public to help fund this team. Actually, I'm spending more time on building the trails now as I enjoy riding my bike. This is like a profession to me. I've learned it. As a leader, if you're going to stand there and say, guys, you must do this, they will never respect you. But if they see that you are doing it, it's going to become a passion also to them because the leader is doing exactly the same thing that we are doing. To ride the same trails that I've built, I feel com as a complete cyclist. I believe that sport you can unite people and also because we come from different backgrounds. If you take a bicycle and you go to, to ride, that gives you a sense of a belonging, whatever challenges you are facing at that moment. So I took it as a, as a meditation in the mountain, listening to all the trees. So it gives that sense where you heal to ride with all these people from different backgrounds, different professions. Once you are on the mountain biking, there is no difference. You can have everything in life, 
you can have everything, but then once you're on the mountain biking, we are all, we are all one and we share the same passion and we just ride together.